This is Robbie Pleasant with Geek HQ. Yes, we are here with the man who has made so many childhoods and even adulthoods. If you don't know him by his face, you will definitely know him by his voice. So, Peter Coleman, welcome to SAC Anime. Hi, thank you. <laughs> All right, so, we've only got so much time, so let's jump into a lot of the questions here. So, you are famously known for voicing Optimus Prime in Transformers, and as many of our viewers know, there have been a lot of iterations of Optimus Prime and the Transformers series in general. Are there any ones that really stick out to you as uh, favorites for you, uh, you as a performer, or just to view yourself? Um, you mean Optimus Primes, or a character that I've Take played? your pick. Uh, a I'll character that I've played? I would have to say that Optimus Prime would be the, uh, the number one choice. Uh, only because it's given me so much wonderful pleasure over the years in a positive way. It's touched a lot of people's lives, and that's a great honor it's a, and a responsibility. So, uh, without a doubt, uh, he's, a, he's a focal point in my life, as well as a turning point, but a focal point because it's present and it's real and it's alive today after all those years. Yes, the Transformers series really does have an amazingly large fandom uh, all these years after it first hit the air. What has been your experience with the fans? The most wonderful experience that anyone could ever have. From my point of view, I have a great deal of respect, a great deal of admiration, and a great love for the fans. I tell them that at every opportunity that I have. Without them, I would never have had the opportunity to resurrect uh, my version of Optimus Prime. And it was because of those resonant voices that uh, were so tenacious and stuck to it and stayed with that, insisting that I, uh, you know, that I renew my role. For them, I'm forever grateful. I mean, there's no words to describe that, so I often use the words, I love them. Now, I have a question for you, that uh, you have been working with four Transformer films, and you're, behind, you're pretty much behind the microphone, pretty yeah. much voicing you know, as a voice actor for Optimus Prime. But, of course, it's also a live action film, so you also see it meet up with, like... Do you, have you also met up with, like, other actors, like, in the fourth movie? Have you met up with uh, Mr... Not uh, very often. Uh, and um, only because, you know, you know, the action sequences involving other... Uh, uh, stages, sets, locations. I'm often, you know, brought in at the very beginning, middle, and end, and I will do the entire script, and they'll have something to work on. Animators will have something, scripts change, lines change, and you never know when and where that's going to happen, but mostly in Los Angeles, of course. And the one-on-one uh, the, uh, -on -one basis with Michael Bay, in this case, uh, will be at the studios, his studios or nearby, in you know, Santa Monica or his office is based, but it's always a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, just me and a big screen, a microphone, and a, uh, a movie camera that's focused right on my mouth, and uh, that's very disconcerting sometimes. <laughs> it's like somebody's staring at your lips while you're talking to them, you know, I mean, Quite strange, uh, but that, that was the only uh, aberrations that I did not find of the overall experience working one on one with Michael Bay or any of the staff is always positive, and wonderful. It's, uh, I guess it's because uh, he has no worries. He has no worries about the character he's working with, and subsequently you have a very very you know, calm, undisturbed uh, session, you know. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. You have faith in each other, and I have confidence in him, and he has confidence in me, so it's always smooth, and uh, they're never long drawn out, or we're always very receptive to each other, and I'm always amazed at his ability, his imagination, and what he has to do to pull off a movie like that and it's grand Probably scale. The collaboration of you two, director yeah. and voice actor becoming one, yeah. you know, such he's, a big hit for him. He's more than, than a, uh, a voice director when I'm working with a voice or an actor, director. 
I mean, he's everything. He's the uh, action <laughs> <in the secret. laughs> One of, maybe I'm understating it, more than a couple of hundred things to be thinking about at all yeah. times, trying to generate, you know, the beginning and end of, uh, of, of a movie that long and that big. Mm -hmm. yeah, very impressed with him. Now, we've been talking a lot about Transformers, but of course you've done so many more voices than that. Uh, you mentioned before how the children are very receptive to you voicing uh, Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. And I'm sure there isn't a person in this room who uh, hasn't grown up watching it. Uh, so, out of the other voices that you've done, uh, what are the any memorable ones or memorable experiences with them? Um, well, number one, uh, going to a job and, and uh, going to an audition and then finally, you know, being hired for the role, that's always the most exciting part when you look at a an artistic sketch of the char cartoon character that you're going to audition for, and you might have to come up with you know, ten voices in one afternoon, looking at all the different storyboards and stuff like this, and you have to think, well, what kind of a voice will I give this guy based upon what he looks like, and uh, uh, how, what his words are. So that's always a very exciting thing, and I would say, to answer your question, I'd say it's the process more than having just a singled out other than Eeyore and Optimus Prime. But it's the process, it's the creative process, and uh, of matching the right wit and the right sound to the artist's conception and to the words that they're giving it. Uh, Nate, you got any more? Uh, yeah, this is yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. um, actually, I have nothing on. Uh, actually, I do have one more question. Actually, um, out of the, all the voices, we know you like Optimus Prime and Eeyore. And Eeyore is kind of a more of a depressing sort of character, while Optimus Prime is more of a you know a uplifting, uplifting sort of character. How do you differentiate while you're in the voice acting studio? Like, how can you? be able to get the difference between both of them. <laughs> oh, it's not that hard, really, because they're so at opposite ends of the spectrum, you know. And, I, you know, I really don't take a lot of the seriously on an intellectual side to, you know, worry about anything other than making it sound good and nice and uh, appreciated. I mean, it's not uh, nuclear science, but the... Uh, nor do I take myself that seriously. They're so opposite. Yeah. And he or is he or roll out, just roll out, you know, I mean, it's not very hard. That's all I got for now. All right, yes, thank you very much for your time. We thank hope you. you enjoy the rest of your day here at SAC Anime. I and am. I'm, and I'm loving every minute. Love every second. Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you. That's we absolutely hope to see you here again. Oh, Hopefully. Oh, I hope so. I, I think that's, if I'm invited back, I'll come. Thank you so much, Mr. Pierce.